Have you ever found yourself in a position in which you've sold a cash secure put option that's gone against you? But instead of letting it be assigned to you and turning it into a covered call, you wish you could turn it into a poor man's covered call? There can be tremendous advantages of turning a position like that into a poor man's covered call. In this video, I show you exactly how to turn a cash secure put option that's gone against you into a poor man's covered call. And I will also show you the advantages and disadvantages of doing just that. Here you see every trade we've done in one of our worst positions that's gone against us over the past year and a half. This position is in the company formerly known as Facebook. It's called Meta Platforms, ticker symbol META. We began this position back on November 10th of 2021. That's approximately nine months ago. Notice up top in the first three rows that from November 10th through February 8th, we we're selling cash secured put options in Meta. We had collected some decent premium. When we first sold the December of 2021 320 cash secure put option, we were paid $7.85 per share. That option expired worthless a month later and on the third Friday of December. Then a couple weeks after that, we sold the third Friday of January of 2022 325 cash secure put option. For that, we received another $3.56 per share. But that's when things started to go bad on us. Here you see that on February 3rd, Meta had a big price drop from around 325 per share all the way down to 236 per share. At that point, the 325 cash secure put option that we had sold was very deep in the money. I gave it a few days to see if it would rebound, but made it continue to decline. So on February 8th, I decided to switch this cash secure put option over to a poor man's covered call. Here's how we did that. Notice at the red arrow that we bought this third Friday of February 310 cash secure put option back. That cost us $92.70 per share. When we did that, we sealed in our loss on that put option. However, I believe that Meta Platforms had the potential and was likely to continue declining. I knew that if I stayed short this cash secure put option, whose delta was close to one, I knew that I would lose pretty much penny for penny if that happened. Now, a side note here, before I show you exactly how to switch a cash secure put option over to a poor man's covered call, I wanna show you one reason why I love trading in options so much using this Meta Platforms position. Here, as you can see at the purple and yellow arrows, on November 10th, when we first started selling these cash secure put options in Facebook or made a platform, it was trading for right at $327 per share. As you can see at the red arrow, over the next two and a half months, before we switched this position over to a poor man's covered call, we were able to roll our cash secure put option strike price down by $10 from the December 320 strike price to the February 310 strike price. So we improved our potential purchase price by $10. But during that time, we also collected a net of $13.44 before we bought that cash secure put option back to turn it into a poor man's covered call. Once we bought that put option back for $92.70, it meant that we we're out of pocket $79.26 plus commission per share for those put options. But keep in mind that from the time we started trading in Meta platforms back on November 10th through February 8th, when we bought this put option back, Meta had dropped around $108 per share from $328 down to $220. Now compare that to the $79.26 per share net out of pocket cost for us to buy this deep in the money cash secure put option back. And you see that we had actually done $28.74 per share better by trading in this cash secure put option as compared to buying this stock outright. Now let's continue with how we turn this cash secure put option into a poor man's covered call. So we bought that deep in the money cash secure put option back for $92.70. And as a result, we're out of pocket, including commission, $7,930 as you can see here. Now we we're back to an all cash position, although we were showing a big loss. But if we had done a covered call or bought the stock outright, our loss would have been much bigger. I wanted to stay in this position. So as you can see here on that same date, February 8th, we bought the January of 2024 $200 leaps call option. That cost us $57.55 per share. So if we do the math, that $7,930 that we're out of pocket after buying that cash secure put option back to close it out, and the $5,755 that it cost us to buy this leaps call option, we're out of pocket a total of $13,685. And that's compared to if we had bought the stock outright when we first started trading options in it. Remember, it would have cost us right at $327 per share or $32,700 for the 100 shares. So we're out of pocket only 42% of what the shares would have cost us if we had bought them outright. The day before we bought the Leaps call, as you can see here in the blue box on February 7th, I knew I wanted to do something to help our position out. So we actually did a bearish call credit spread by selling the third Friday of March $285 call option and bought that same third Friday of March $375 call option for protection. So the next day, February 8th, when we bought the Leaps call option, it was already a poor man's covered call. Fast forward to February 18th, as you can see here, we bought the March 285 short call option back for 19 cents per share. 
At that point, as you can see at the blue arrow, our total out of pocket was $13,545.76. And before I get into the advantages and disadvantages of using this strategy, notice that since that time, over the past five and a half months, we've been selling near term call options against the long leaps call that we own, thus keeping it as a poor man's cover call. In addition to that, on occasion, we've also been selling an additional bearish call credit spread. We've done that enough that as you can see here at the bottom, we're currently out of pocket a total of $11,752.86. And that's compared to the $13,545 that we're out of pocket when we closed out this first near-term call option. That means we've collected over $1,792 by selling these call options. Unfortunately, since that time, Meta Platforms has continued to decline. And it does appear to be trying to find support in the area where it's at now, around 158. But since we first started trading at Meta Platforms, it's gone down in price by around $170 per share. But notice how we fared since we switched over to a poor man's covered call. Now keep in mind that if we had stayed with a cash secure put option and just continue to roll it out, remember we had sold it at 310. So that put option cost us at least $152 per share to close it out. Or it would be showing a loss of around $15,200. So if we bought it back, that's about how much it would cost us. That means we'd be showing quite a large loss. Compare that to our current out-of-pocket costs, which is $11,752. So you see that we are way ahead of the game as compared to if we had stuck with the cash secured put option and just rolled it out in time. But it gets even better. On top of that, even though Meta Platforms has continued to decline, the January 19th of 2024 $200 call option we own still has some time value. As a matter of fact, as you can see here in our portfolio tab, when the market closed on Friday, it was trading for between $20.85 and $21.30. And so if we go in the middle of that, we can safely say that our Leaps call option should be worth right around $21 per share or $2,100. If you add that back in to the $11,752 that we're currently out of pocket, you see that we would only be showing a loss of $9,652. Now obviously, we're not happy with that. However, when you compare that against the $15,200 loss, it would be showing if we were still in the cash secure put option, where well, you can see the benefit that we received by switching it over to a poor man's covered call. And the reason for that is that this leap call option is only losing, as you see here at the yellow arrow, 45 cents per share if made it work to decline another dollar. So it's not losing dollar for dollar. And that's one of the big advantages of switching from a cash secure put option that's gone against you over to a poor man's covered call. If the stock continues to decline, you won't experience a penny for penny loss like you most likely would if you stayed short a deep in the money cash secured put option. However, there are two disadvantages of being in a poor man's cover call that you want to be aware of. Before I get into those two disadvantages, if you want to be a more profitable stock and option trader, please do yourself a favor and hit the subscribe button and bell notification. If you're finding value in this video, please hit the thumbs up like button. The first disadvantage of being in a poor man's covered call as compared to a deep in the money cash secured put, which in my opinion is really the only major disadvantage, is that if Meta Platform continues to find support where it's at and then begins to go up in price, our leaps call delta, which is the amount that this leaps call option will go up in value for the next dollar that Meta Platform goes up in value, this leap call option will only go up in value by 45 cents for the next dollar that Meta Platform goes up. So if it goes up, we won't receive penny for penny benefit. Another disadvantage might be that this leaps call option is made up of 100% time value because the option is currently out of the money. Because of that, it will lose some time value every day. In fact, the estimate, as you can see where the yellow arrow is, that it will lose just over three cents per share in time decay every day. However, that's not a big deal to me because as you can see here in the blue box, we're continually selling near term call options against that long leaps call that we own. In fact, as you can see here in our portfolio tab, we've currently sold the September 16th 190 call option. If you follow the orange arrow down, you see the September 190 call option loses almost five cents per share per day in time decay. So we're definitely ahead of the game when it comes to time decay. If you have a non-dividend paying stock that you've been selling cash secured put options in, the position goes against you and you're concerned that the position might continue to decline on you, you might consider switching the position over to a poor man's covered call. As you see, there are tremendous benefits to doing that and might even enable you to sooner rather than later turn that losing position back into a winner. If you'd like to receive alerts when we do trades, consider the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. As a stock and option trader, there are going to be times when positions that go against you. 
When that happens, it's vitally important that you know how to fix those positions if you want to be a long-term, successful, and profitable stock and option trader. To help you do that, please check out the video series at the link above in the description below entitled Option Repair Strategies. In there, I share some of my favorite tips and tricks on how I repair positions that have gone against us. So please check it out. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.